Welcome to this demonstration of some of Zscaler's unique sandbox innovations. This video will highlight the enhanced quarantine and isolate capabilities available today on the Zscaler for Users platform. Zscaler has the industry's first AI-powered inline cloud sandbox, which allows them to hold a file and inspect it, thus protecting each user from a patient zero attack, which could cost the victim and their company time and money, and could spread laterally across their organization. Let's dive into how we have improved the way the Zscaler Sandbox Quarantine and Isolate feature works. The way the Zscaler Cloud Sandbox Quarantine First Time Action setting worked in the past was it held unknown files until it obtained the necessary verdict to take action that would prevent patient zero attacks. Then the file, if deemed safe, was released to the user for access. While a vast majority of files are analyzed within milliseconds, files undergoing deep analysis are often quarantined for 5 to 10 minutes. Many admins set a high threshold for files that undergo this analysis, not wanting to disrupt the user's workflow. But with the new quarantine and isolate function, we've eliminated that trade-off, allowing users to interact with files in a safe way while they undergo analysis. Now the admin can configure the Sandbox policy criteria to key in on Microsoft Office and PDF files, and can select Quarantine and Isolate as the first-time action. With these settings, the file will be loaded into Browser Isolation, where the user can view it. If, during Sandbox analysis, the file is found to be malicious, the Zscaler Content Disarm and Reconstruction Engine takes action allowing the user to download a flattened version of the Office or PDF file. The new capabilities are designed to improve the user experience while maintaining security and protecting the user and their company from an attack. Let's dig in to see what this looks like. Remote Rob is a director on the Acme sales operations team. His role and Rogue Warrior work environment put him more at risk and increase his chances of being targeted with an attack. He receives an email with a link to an invoice for sales services. When he clicks on the link to download it, Rob receives a message that, due to the protective policies in place, he has been redirected to browser isolation, and the file has been placed in a sandbox for analysis. If the sandbox verdict is malicious, it is blocked in line. Our new sandbox feature takes into account that this invoice file may still be important to Rob, so a message appears stating that he can download a flattened PDF version of the file. If the sandbox verdict is benign, Robert is given immediate access to download the original file. The Zscaler admin is also able to view the threat events in the Insights Logs area, and can drill down on the details as needed. This enables them to be aware of any threats and the actions being taken to protect their users and their critical data, regardless of location or context. All of these industry-unique comprehensive protections that provide these new quarantine and isolate capabilities are only available with the Zscaler Advanced Sandbox and Browser Isolation licenses. So be sure that these are added and enabled in your environment to increase productivity without compromising on security. For more information on Zscaler's Advanced Sandbox feature and the Zscaler for Users platform, or to request a demo, visit us at zscaler.com.